Now, when I come in on the kayak, I gotta be careful to not splash the camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What's going on guys? It's a beautiful spring morning here in Columbus, Ohio, and we are headed out today to make a VR 180 snapping turtle video. This is going to be one incredible immersive experience for everybody out there. You're gonna actually get into the environment with me to get up close with a mud dragon. Uh, what this video is, will be the behind the scenes making of how is a VR episode done? And I'm gonna introduce you guys today to Trent Underwood, who is a camera specialist and one of our most talented producers here at Wilderness Productions. Trent, looks like you got a backpack full of good gear here and a C-stand. Yeah, the C-stand we found is the best way to film with the VR cams because you can't have anything in a 180 degree field of view, top, bottom, left, or right. So this allows us to kind of get it out a little further into an environment and get for a really cool shot. So today, we're gonna try to get it as close to the water and right up near the turtle as we can. What's cool about VR is you don't really get the chance to cut. There aren't edits like a typical video. So it means we have to get everything for the most part in a single take. And if there's one thing I know, it's snapping turtles. So doing an uncut single take with a reptile like this is definitely in my wheelhouse. Trent, this is the spot where I'm thinking we should film this VR episode. While it is muddy, we can position the camera in this spot. It's a little more solid. And then I'll be able to be in the water presenting with a turtle once we've caught one. Yeah, this looks great to me because we can really come low with the VR cam. So when you come up out of the water, being able to see the turtle and feel like you're really in the water is gonna be an awesome experience. I would say that's a risky little game, putting a VR camera that close to the water. You confident with that? So just as long as you don't splash it, we should be all right. Okay. Or the turtle doesn't. Um, okay, you good? Yeah, I'm just gonna check the shot here on the phone and set it up. That way when you get up here, we're ready to hit record. Okay, cool, I'll go get the kayak. Sounds good. Here we go. Heading over to the far side of the pond. Man, it's gonna be a good day for turtles. I can already feel it. Trent over there, set up and ready to go with VR. Now, when I come in on the kayak, I gotta be careful to not splash the camera. Trent, it's a beautiful day for VR. How's the shot looking? Whoa, 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 getting too close to the camera. That's exactly what I was trying not to do, drift into and then splash the camera. Woo, you always gotta get your kayak legs back. Getting out on the water for the first time every year. Always is a little challenging. I'm in water that's about five feet deep. So any turtle is just gonna look like a dark shadow moving beneath the surface. It is a challenge to catch a dragon when you're on the move, but the wind is gonna actually help propel me forward. I'm hoping for something in the shallows today. Gotta to start, start simple and work your way up. Uh, right now I'm in the territory of Big Daddy. And in case you never saw the first episode of Breaking Trail, that is the snapping turtle I caught that we featured in the first ever piece of content on YouTube. He's an absolute monster. At the time of that catch, he clocked in at just over 50 pounds, 52 in total weight. So if we find him today, it's going to be epic. Got some green algae in this spot here. And you can see on my shoulder camera, there's a turtle right here. All right, I'm going to go for it. We got one already. That is a good dragon right there. The water is deep, but we have ourselves a monster side beast. That is water over the waders right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is a beautiful snapper pole. Look at the size of that dragon. Wow, we are off to a good start. Yes, first turtle of the day. And it is a good dragon. My goodness, 
We are in beast mode right now, folks. Actually, you know what? It is Big Daddy. We have just caught Big Daddy. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. I was literally just talking about this turtle and we have just landed for the second time in history, the snapping turtle known as Big Daddy. And he is an absolute monster. I can't believe it. Okay, rowing right into his territory and we managed to get him. Hi buddy, how are you? Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Now getting this turtle back over to the cameras is gonna be a challenge. Just rowing period with a turtle on board like this presents many, many dangerous scenarios. Look at the size of that dragon. He is monstrous. We could not have landed a better turtle for the VR experience. I'm beside myself right now. This is epic. I can't believe it. You can never call your shot like that in a million years. I gotta be really careful rowing back. I see you, buddy. You hold tight. Look at the size of that snapper turtle. Completely fills the inside of the kayak. He is a monster of epic proportions. Yes! That is as good as a snapping turtle catch can get. Woo! Did you catch one? Huge turtle! Huge! My goodness! What a day! I'm so excited, guys. All right, we've got a turtle on board. Now, in just a couple days, the VR experience, VR 180 with this snapping turtle will be live on the Brave Wilderness channel. Stay tuned, you're about to see the largest common snapping turtle on record in Thoreau Lake, up close and in VR 180. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah, VR 180 time, baby. Biggest turtle in the lake. Man, I'm feeling good now. Woo! Stay tuned to witness a dragon in VR 180. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on this season of Dragon Tales.